Thanks for joining me again. I thought I'd um, switch back to high definition one for this one. If, if you saw the last one with the webcam, the, uh, as, as convenient as it is uploading direct to YouTube, the, the quality is just in there. It's just, it's just a bit naff really. So I've got a I've got a new laptop which has got more memory than the last um, computer. So hopefully my high definition video editor should work a bit better this time so I might be able to create some better quality videos but uh, anyway this is um, raw sienna going straight on mix with a bit of burnt umber burnt umber in the sky a bit, a bit down there as well and then I'm introducing a little bit of a little bit of light red, a bit of light red into it. Just, just a hint. It's such a strong colour. It doesn't need much to uh, dominate, dominate the painting. And I can just see a little bit of. I'm working off a picture off the uh, on the computer. But I can't show it you because I'm meant to own the copyright to everything in these videos, and I don't want to infringe on other people's rights so that's why if it's, if it's my own photograph I'd sh I'll show it I'll have to use more of my own photographs I'll have to get out there and take some pictures but uh anyway that's the background in so next I'm doing the uh distant distant hill which is I'm gonna put the horizon somewhere Somewhere there, so we've got a bit more blue. Bit more blue, and that's giving up like that. And there's even a little bit of mist over there, so I'm just going to try and dab out a little bit, maybe even stick a bit of, bit of cloud going up there. Get across the top here as well. I'll try and keep it subtle. It's it's very easy, like most things in in painting. Quickly I would do. You can see where the paper sticks to the sticks to the um, the paint, but when it comes off the uh, tissue, wait till it's dry before you go into start flicking that off. Because otherwise, you'll make a right mess. It'll just brush straight off. You can see how the paper's stretched. So I'm just pulling it tight again, just to. I've got a flat surface to work with and then I'm going I'm cleaning the brush I'm just going straight in some lemon yellow I'm just going to put some uh, a bit of trees and grass over there so that sort of goes up something like that and we'll bring it in front where this cloud, see where the mist is sort of coming over this fire hill and then just put this, put it in front of that, it just it just sort of emphasises that mist there and I'm just going to go into a bit of raw sienna and just try and create some sort of bank, I'll tell you what I've forgotten to do, I've got to put the reflections in and all um, I'll have to put them in afterwards now it's, it's starting to dry, so I, I don't think I'll get away with it now. Well, I'm just looking. No. See, if you look at it on the angle, look across, you can see the sheen off the paper. It's still wet. But um, I don't think it's quite wet enough to start messing about with reflections. I'm just going to just put these trees in. Bit more sienna. And then what I'm going to do, give that a quick dry. So 
I can see, I can see that's dry now, the sheen's gone off it. So I can confidently use the clean brush, clean height, and then you see all the water that drips off it. Just take the edge, just wipe on the edge of the um, water jar just to stop the dripping and then just just a quick re-wetting and then quickly stick those um, get those reflections in doesn't have to be absolutely bang on as long as it's there or thereabouts a bit more and then and then those greens of the trees a bit darker I think that's enough. Just gives the impression of a reflection there. Uh, 